Hello beautiful, amazing individuals out there on this amazing earth. Hmm. Today I would like to speak about how your spirit and soul also draws nourishment from our experiences and everything around us. What we focus on, what we have our attention and our priorities on in everyday life is what we nourish and what we feed our soul. So if we use every day to feed our soul with violence and with sex and with erotica and whatever I myself personally would call things that are not healthy, it affects the soul. It affects our way of living, our way of perceiving. Taking as an example, I read a beautiful, beautiful expression from a human being earlier. When we get addicted to violence on movies and TVs, TVs, yeah, TV, and and so on in series, we desensitize ourselves and disconnect ourselves away from reality. It is kind of a guilty pleasure or some forbidden fruit when it is truly a sin to enjoy death and violence and murder, to enjoy erotica like it is some kind of spiritual deity of of some kind in our everyday life. Erotica is a demon. To have to have sex and any kind of orientation and all of this surface level strangeness. It doesn't belong there. All these sacred personal standpoints and such are completely and wholly personal. This is an example. This is nourishment. If you use day by day to practice, to train yourself, to contemplate and use your thoughts actively, to contemplate, to sit and master your own inner being, to contemplate and to reflect and to be aware. Awareness, objective, loving, caring awareness, where you see yourself as any other human being. You are not exempt from anything. You do the same you do the same amount of morals and ethics as anyone else. You do not make yourself too good for those. You always keep up what is loving, what is right, what is the heart. No matter the temptation in trying to manipulate or or lie or any kind of these deceptive deeds and actions or even act as a frenemy taken as an example it is so obvious and we see we have nothing in common and still we try to behave like we have something in common because we did before things falls away and we need to have something to work upon have an aspiration enjoy life see what comes and be open to see if there is something new about to emerge. You never know if we are stuck in this, oh, why is this a problem? Why do I feel like this? It's, oh, I don't get anywhere. I'm Instead, it is, oh, I feel like this. It is required of me to strengthen my will and strengthen my inner world and my connection to the spiritual realm. The spiritual realm is, or the lower astrals, is in constant, constant turbulence. Everyone has an opinion over anyone, and someone says, why are you doing this? And they are trying to argument against it, and when they have all the time in the world to focus on themselves... You know when someone has found something that they truly stand for, they truly love and care and want to cultivate further. 
Nothing can distract them. Nothing can put them away from that path. It is a certain role you have been given. And it is not something you make out as a joke or anything. It is truly, you you can't deviate from this path. It would hurt too much. It would be a lie. I wouldn't be a human being if I did so. So to focus on what I truly, truly long for in this world, a new spiritual connection to mankind, to the earth, and to the elements, and to the solar system around us, connecting this to the spiritual again. We had that directly in earlier times, but that fell away so we could cultivate freedom. Freedom and a certain perspective of detail. We didn't have that, this detailed way of perceiving differentiations, forms and shapes and such. We were more a oneness type of what happened came to us in the moment we reacted to it. We didn't have very much beyond that. Now today we we can experience something, we can suppress it and uh, save it in our inner being and make it something that doesn't belong here, for example. We can also truly take the brunt of it, not reacting to it, but work with it. See the understanding and not fight it, but feel it, understand it and contemplate it. When you do so, it will lose more and more power. It is like when you're a kid and you thought there were a monster under your bed. And you, when your parents came in, they said, come, let's go look for the monster. And we look for the monster, there's nothing there. And when we know there's nothing there, and we know what it is that is there. Maybe a shape that, maybe a clothing that shaped it. But we know what it is now and it has less power over us. We do not run from it. The strength to choose for oneself what is important. To choose for oneself what is priority. To choose what is loving, as I said. And have a true respect for each other. Empathy. If we can't go beyond our own tip of the nose, we will never be able to go beyond ourselves. We would only sit in our own pains, experiences, and will never be able to relate. The relation to each other through both pain but joy and connecting through the soul and that beautiful warmth we gain from each other when we actually participate in active living, experiencing, exploring, adventuring. It requires time to build this up. It requires to study and to even find out to know about these different pieces of the puzzle. It's like we have a completely blank, dark space of a puzzle piece. And we are groping around in the dark. And then, oh, a puzzle piece. And then we take it up and study it and find out and where it is and where we put it. If we don't know what the puzzle pieces look like, we will never be able to do this. So it is study. You have to put light on the concepts. You have to build concepts to put them into place. They are living beings and some belong to each other, some do totally hate each other. I like to be in the middle where I can see both part in both parts and see both the joy and the love of it. But it requires bravery too to be brave in what we do. To dare to be seen, to dare to go beyond ourselves, to dare to think bigger, to dare to want and long for a more harmonic and harmonious and beautiful world to live in. And I know it is possible because I cultivate this daily. It is some of my practice. The practice of this is highly, highly valuable in living 
in general. Getting to know the world again. Getting to know all the cultures. The different ways of seeing things. Even the disagreements. Why do we disagree? Where do we disagree? How do we disagree? And have we contemplated what we disagree on? Have you just read it somewhere and then take it for take it as good or do you read it contemplate it see where it fits in true reality and then take it as what it is if it's valuable information or if it is downright lies we are fully capable and have fully strong abilities or senses even, to sense understanding, to sense language, warmth, emotions, even thoughts are flying around our heads like a mist. And it, you see it directly on people's faces when they think about the, the thought they put into their body. Is, you get a micro expression of that, of that thought easy to see how people react in that way because the thoughts directly reflect in our emotions and will so if our thoughts is down downright degrading to another human being you see a tiny piece of hint of disgust taken as an example and you feel it from just even if they had it for a little tiny second and they hide it again just because they became aware of it Of course, this is only in the worst kinds of situations, but we need to be aware of this because there are a whole lot of people who do not focus on and prioritize themselves. It is only everything else, everyone else and everyone's fault. Focusing on oneself and knowing what is important, prioritizing and building, master building, building the temple. Piece by piece, day by day, moment by moment, slowly and patiently, steady and nourishing. Then you will see where results pop up, where the strength shows up. You you are not doing this again and again and again without seeing results from it. You can believe that and you have faith in that and you will be given all you need to where you need to go. It is a healing. I focused a lot on the, on the negative and on what we have been taught to think and what's normal. And, but what I am speaking about is something you have to actively con- c- cultivate, actively grow every day. It's not something you're given. If you only experience, experience without reflecting and putting things into place it will be just more and more you will be stretched thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner until you can't handle anymore some people actually last a whole lifetime doing this i think this was everything i just had inspiration today so may the divine guide you all on this beautiful path and might you find the longing you're looking for Love you all. Thank you. Goodbye.